flossing, sticking and flipping. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys what I've been doing. And I can't believe I just said you guys, because I've never said that. Uh, I'm from Texas, and I say y'all. But I don't want y'all to think that, you know, I'm a typical Texas riding on a horse to work girl. Not, but I'm not knocking the ones who have to. I think it's fabulous. But anyway, how are y'all doing? I'm doing good. I, um... Just wanted to update y'all. I actually have not been into a Goodwill in um, two weeks. Why? That's crazy because I was in there four or five times a week because I found something that is fabulous. Fucking amazing. I'm talking, I don't want to buy things that I can make 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on. I want to buy things that, you know, that treasure that you find, that little treasure. So, First, let me tell you what I found. I did go to a garage sale a couple weeks ago. Um, actually, it was something I was picking up on Facebook Marketplace. So, but they had had a garage sale the previous weekend. And I had asked the owner if I could look at the stuff they had left. And she said, sure. So I picked up a couple things and then these ketchup and mustard condiment plastic holders. They were uh, pretty boring, except for the fact that they were in tiki's. The bottoms of the ketchup and mustard were it were tiki's they're plastic um i knew they were vintage um but they were in excellent condition and i thought i'll just pick them up how much dollar piece okay sold i thought maybe we could use them you know in the house the kids would like them anyway so i did some research found out that um these things that i had these condiment holders ketchup and mustard tiki plastic okay we're from the 60s there was only one other listed in on any other um selling reselling site that i could find and that was i believe on etsy or poshmark but um they were selling for over 400 dollars, and i thought what why why i mean so i had to do some research because i love doing research so i did all my research and um, come to find out that there is a museum in Paris, France called the Branley Museum. And just a little over or a little less than a year ago, I can't remember, um, they started a permanent exhibit. And this exhibit is called Tiki Pop. Tiki, P-O-P, -P, pop, like pop culture. It's everything about how the Tiki uh, pop culture fanatical phase started in the 60s and everyone was you know, crazy about buying tiki things and Polynesian stuff. And there's 190 items in this permanent exhibit at the Banley, Banley, I believe, Museum in France, Paris. Um, so it's not going anywhere. The tiki pop exhibit is going to be there forever. And um, through my research, hours and hours of research, trying to find something on those ketchup and mustard condiment plastic dispensers, I found out that this museum holds the same set that I have, the same two. And the only other one was selling for over $400 on some other site. So anyway, I was stoked to say the least because that was a $2 purchase. Um, I know there are Tiki uh, collectors out there, so I'm just waiting for the right buyer. So I'm not gonna go low ball or anything on any offers or, cause I know these are pretty rare. And the reason why I think they're so rare and uncommon and hard to find is because they're made of plastic and they were made in the 60s. So you use them as condiment holders, you squeeze them, right? Kids squeeze them, over squeeze them, they're gonna crack, they're gonna break. Or you just use them so much they get grungy and you just pitch them in the trash. That is why they are so rare, is because there are none. I don't know who had these, but whoever had these where I purchased them, um, they didn't know anything about them. They said they got a bunch of stuff from someone's estate and thought they were trash we're gonna throw them in the trash actually because their garage sale ended and i was just floored when i found out that these are part of american history and i seriously have them like wrapped up in bubble tape hidden in a place in my house where my dogs can't get them my kids can't find them um hopefully i won't lose them and forget where i put them but i will find the right buyer and on my ebay store hey your mom of six blessings and i'm very excited about that but Here's my new, my new thing is, um, like I said, y'all all know, I love um, Jocelyn, the crazy limp lady. I absolutely think she's so knowledgeable and fantastic. And um, 
I think she's adorable and I just love her family. Um, and I love watching her. Well, you know, they've been doing a lot of online um, auctions and I know that Andrew, her husband, goes and picks them up. So I think they do them locally. Well, I could probably find some local auctions because I'm in Texas and, you know, it's a huge state though. So, but I could go within, you know, maybe 90 miles, 100 miles outside of where I live in San Antonio and just go pick up lots of stuff that I win. But no, of course I have to find things that are in Pennsylvania and Indiana and Maine and Arizona. Yeah, those are the auctions I've been on. Anyway, um, I have found that if you go to these auctions when they're running out of time, they're timed auctions. And you look at things either that have not been bid on at all, um, and they have very low um, minimum bid prices. Some of them are $2 for huge lots of stuff. I mean, antique china, teacups, you name it. Um, my last, um, I think I've won probably six or seven auctions in the last couple weeks. And one of the auctions, I spent $99 on everything. And I counted the items because there was so many lots. And there was 181 items in those six lots. And so then I started freaking out about shipping. What is gonna happen with the shipping? Oh my God, we're gonna pay like thousands of dollars. This is not gonna be profitable. The shipping was only $183. They're gonna mail me six parcels with 181 items. And maybe I just got really lucky with that particular auction house because I haven't got the shipping costs from some of the other ones I've won in Pennsylvania. So we'll see about those, but I did find some fabulous fine art. So I think that's going to be kind of where I'm leaning um, as I update and, and buy new purchases for my eBay store because some of this art, um, like I said, I love research. I do a lot of research on these artists and a lot of these are original art, um, oil on canvas, watercolor um, on canvas, originals. One of them is sand art and oil um, and they're all original. So some of these people have these amazing pieces of art. Um, on their auctions and a lot of people just aren't aware of the value and i found some that are valued upwards of five to seven thousand dollars but um, like i said you always have to find the right buyer so you have to be patient and i don't do this to support my family uh, and i basically just um buy stuff and use the other money for shipping costs and i really don't have a lot in my ebay credit card account but that's okay my husband always always has my back when I need more, but um, I'm doing pretty well in my store, but I think when I bring in this fine art, I'm going to have to probably go to some other venues, and um, I don't know. Um, eBay is a wonderful place for me, but I may have to put these art pieces out there to where the collectors will be able to find them more easily than just on eBay. So that is my new thing, and I'm very excited. I'm a little nervous because I have so much inventory right now and I have now three death boxes. Three, because I have not been in the mood to list since I've been winning all these auctions. I'm too busy researching what I did win, even though I haven't gotten any in the mail yet. Um, so it's really fun and um, I think I will keep y'all updated on how these things do, but I mean, this could be a game changer for me. So anyway, Hager Mom of Six Blessings is my eBay store and please, subscribe. I have a measly amount of subscribers. My sweet 24-year-old daughter and one nice lady I met at the Goodwill. I think I only have two. And I do have some views, but if you like this, share it. Whatever you want to do. But um, I'm excited to share my new venture with you guys, especially resellers, because this is something that, like I said, this could change everything. Instead of just going to Goodwill and buying small things, these are big things and you gotta wait. Thank you.